Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James. Welcome to another Top 5. Now, there's a quite a Spursy habit over the years of signing quite a lot of dross, like Paulinho for £17 million, or Paulinho for £17 million, or maybe even Paulinho for £17 million. But some of them, after the sort of £17 million or so wounds have healed, we end up loving, inexplicably, because they're a bit of a character and they're just kind of funny to watch. So here are my Top 5 of the inexplicably loved Spurs players. Number five, Timote Atuba, or as Jeff, who I sit next to at Spurs, would always say every time he got the ball, Timote! Timote Atuba was a left back. He was a big, stoic powerhouse of a left back, the slowest player in the world, the only player I've ever seen do a three point turn. He played one season for us before he was deemed surplus to requirement. He scored in his first game, first game of the season, against Newcastle, and then did nothing else. Absolutely awful, but we loved him. Timote! Number four, speaking of slow, awful fullback, Pascal Chimbonda. What's that coming over the hill? Is it Chimbonda? Probably not. He can't go up the hill. Unbelievable player. Absolutely appalling. But we loved him, mainly because of that chant. Jermaine Genus played for us for eight years and never got a single chant. And he always scored in derbies. Pascal Chimbonda is single-handedly keep, keeping Naughty's Welsh rock band The Automatic in business. Chimbonda. Awful. But we love you. Number three, the Fox, Rule Fox. Ah, oh, Rule Fox, awful player. 13 goals in 106 games across five years. Terrible, but I loved him. He was the first player whose name I ever got on the back of a Spurs shirt for three reasons. Uh, one, it was the only name that would fit. Two, it was the only name my parents could afford. And three, a lot of people say that we look alike. Number two, Gary Doherty, the ginger Pele. Big old lumbering Gary Doherty. Um, excuse me, Gary, what are you, mate? Are you a centre back? Yeah, I am actually. Uh, but are you versatile? Just a bit, mate. I'm also a centre forward and I've scored against Arsenal in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Oh no, I've broken my leg and Jack Santini has sold me to Norwich. Number one, probably my favourite Spurs player of all time, Benoit Asu Ikotu. Don't you wish your left back was B-A-E? Probably not, but what a guy, what a character. He openly disliked football and yet most of us still love him. I love him so much, I've got a cat named after him. Good cat, have a look at this cat, great cat. Benoit Asu Ikotu is such a character, he always puts lol at the end of his tweets. He was a maniac on Twitter. Uh, he has unfortunately just gone, he's just left us. Uh, well, he left us ages ago, but he's now left the country to play for St Etienne. And I wish you the best, Benny, because you drive a smart car, you used to get the tube to games, which you can no longer do, but maybe you can get the metro. Uh, and you used to get your hair cut, your big afro or your dreadlock hair cut opposite the lane itself and then get the bus home from Tottenham. Now that is dangerous. You're a dangerous guy and I like you. You're a risk taker. I wish you the best. Benny, I love you. My favourite inexplicably loved Spurs player of all time. Honourable mentions go to Paul Stalteri, who scored that last minute winner against West Ham, a goal that upset Russell Brand West Ham fans so much that he had to cancel two tour dates as a result and only had sex with six women that night. Eric Edmund, who scored that 40-yard screamer against Liverpool. Noé Pamaro, who was a complete rock at the back, by which I mean he was completely immovable and would not move. Uh, he did then go on to win the FA Cup the following year under Harry Redknapp's management with Portsmouth, which is the spursiest thing I've ever heard. Maurizio Tirico, who had that famous party trick of whenever he was in trouble, he'd run to our own corner flag, face the wrong way and fall over and win a free kick. And finally, Jermaine Defoe, the Cisco years. This has been my top five inexplicably loved Spurs players. If I've missed any out, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred On TV. Hello again, Barnaby Slater here, Spurred On. And this is part two of the top 10 players that Spurs should never have let leave